Hey everybody, welcome to this new video. If you wanted to actually get the actual business, your email a business totally for free, uh, I'm going to be showing you how we can do this. But first of all, you need to understand that there's actually three things that we need to cover before you understand this, because uh, there's actually a lot of videos into the YouTube and there's a lot of comments that people say that they actually don't help them and they don't understand and the actual title is wrong and they want to do everything for free. So there's actually three things that you need to do in order to have your email uh, already been running up for your actual business. First of all, you need to have an actual domain. Now, a domain is the basics where you can have your custom uh, URL and you can use that for hosting your actual website. So you, whether you wanted to use a, an actual, I'm going to open a new tab, of course, you can type for a free domain inside the Google and it's going to be appearing in Webador, it's going to appear in Namecheap, it's going to appear in Top 10, the Freenon. There's actually a lot of places where you can get started on. And then later on, let's say that you have a free domain, but you need to have an actual hoster service provider in order to use this domain. So once you have this domain, you need to have an actual host of this actual website. And with that being said, now that you have all of those enabled, you are now able to have your business email. So this is why you need to understand, guys, it's going to be a little bit hard to have an email, a business email totally for free. Maybe you can have an email totally for free, but you need to pay for the other two elements in order to have one of those totally for free. So you can have, let's say, one out of three for free, or you can have two out of three for free. But at the end of the day, you're going to be paying, of course, with, for example, only one account. So as you can see, we have the web hosting starting from almost $2. As you can see, it says MXN34.99. So I'm going to be paying a little bit more than just $1 for having the web, the web hosted. And then later on, I have the initial part, which is costing me, of course, a dollar and a half. But take in mind here that we have one website available. We have the storage of 10 gigabytes. We have one database and there's an actual daily packs and free WordPress install with just one click. Now, if I choose to pay for a little, a one dollar more in per year, of course, we have now, instead of all of these elements, we now have able to have a free personalized mail, which is in something like 30 annual value for the first year. We have a free domain and the free double S certificate. This one is going to be helping us to just, this is what it means, what I'm talking about, guys. We are not be paying for a domain. We're not paying for the mail, but we're actually paying only for the host, website hosting. So this is one service that comes with one out of three. And this is the reason why, guys, I'm telling you that it's really, really hard to absolutely not pay for anything. Um, what I can tell you is if you still does not want to pay absolutely for anything, I do have an account of Gmail. So Gmail is for free. I use this to optimize my actual company. This one is called White Star Studios. And as you can see, I have contact dot at gmail.com. This one is totally for free. I don't have to pay absolutely for anything. I have all my clients in here. I'm not, I'm, I'm sure it doesn't feel like it's a lot of professional stuff, but since I don't have enough budget, this is what I can do in order to don't pay absolutely anything. The other thing that I can totally suggest to you is to use the soho.com mail section. This one comes with an actual mail uh, of the hosting of multiple domains. We have the routing, we have the streams, the offline setting, the calendar, everything for a little bit less than just $1. Uh, so we're going to hit into sign up. And once you have the actual sign up section, you want to just make sure that you have the actual domain available uh, with you. So what I want to do is to type into my actual name, my email address, my passcode. And then after that, I'm going to hit it now into continue. So at the end of the day, I am not going to be using the hosting of the GoDaddy or the Soho Mail because, uh, I mean, if you don't want to pay absolutely for anything, you don't need to pay absolutely for anything. I mean, this is something that I used to, let's say, don't spend even one dollar. But if you're getting started with a company, with your brand, with your whatever you are actually getting started with, you need to understand that yes or yes, you need to pay for an actual slow amount of investment and paying for only two dollars per month to have an actual hosting website, a domain and a mail and a business email. It's really, but really, really cheap. So take that in mind. In my case, I'm going to be using the actual Soho mail. I choose to add an existing domain 
And here I need to provide an existing domain name that I already have. In my case, it's going to be this one. There we go. And provide your organization name. Let's go. So now I have to proceed to the payment in order to continue. So now, as you can see, I do have now the billing. So I just want to make sure that I am not going to be paying more than one, two dollars. So, for example, here it says that I'm going to be paying two dollars per month. But I don't see that this is an actual offer. I needed to pay the actual uh, plan of annual plan in order to have this discount. So at the end of the day, if I don't choose, if I only want to pay this monthly, I'm going to be paying, uh, let's say, I'm pretty sure it's going to be paying a little bit more than $8. So this is why you wanted to make sure that you are actually going to be paying what appears in here. And you want to read the tiny letters that appears here. And to the Soho store, I just want to have one user. I don't want to have anything here available. And I'm going to be paying 260 MXN. So that means it's going to be, I'm pretty sure it's going to be 20 or $25 per year. You will be earning 25 credits from this subscription. So this is the only way that we can have like the most cheapest way to get the use into a business email. So uh, later on, what I can do is just to hit into continue and make the actual payment. And as you can see, here's the mail light plan hit into confirmed. And then I can start to import all these elements, the credit card and all that. So I can start making the payment. At the end of the day, it's your own and custom decision. It's going to be appearing lots, but really, really a lot of places where they're going to be telling you that you can have a free domain, you can have a free business email, you can have a free uh, website hosting or whatever. But it's going to be appearing these actual prices that you need to pay at the end of the day. So yes or yes, all of these elements are, all of this website were created because they're going to be taking uh, a little bit of our money. So. In this world, nothing but truly nothing is totally free. So the only thing that I can totally suggest to you to get used to is to use the Google account, your Gmail account. Now, Gmail is a great place to get started as an actual creator uh, company. If you don't have any kind of money, you have the availability to use Gmail. Everybody trusts to have a Gmail account. So if you received an email from at gmail.com you might be getting a little bit trusted for people who are actually checking your account and then later on you can create your actual website using site.google.com so google has a lot of tools but really really a lot of tools to offer when it comes to create your actual company your brand uh, something for your personal blogs and once again, you don't have to pay absolutely anything, but speaking about your custom domain, speaking about your custom branding logo, speaking about your custom um, email, business email. So once again, if you're just getting started, if you are a small company, if you don't have enough clients, if you want to get started into the entertainment business, it's going to be really, really worthy to use Google tools that are totally for free. If you have something a little bit more, if you are already gaining money from your company, if you are already making some sales, it's going to be really, really worthy to make some um, tiny investment. For example, your domain, which is costing you like $2 per year, I think is really, really cheap. So I think we can now cover all of the basics. Uh, hopefully this was very useful for you. You can clear your mind of what you're actually going to be needed for your actual company, for your brand. Don't be discouraged if you actually want to do everything in this world for free. Nothing in this world is for free. So just take that in mind, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully I will see you next time. Have lots of fun.